Coney Island has a unique and storied history. It really has always been a place for experimentation, for innovation. It's been a place that makes you raise an eyebrow a little bit and question things, but also makes is a place for surprise. There were three major amusement parks during Coney Island's heyday, Luna Park, Steeplechase Park, and Dreamland Park. Dreamland was one of the first urban amusement parks, indoor, outdoor, log flume rides. It was really innovative for its period in time. Luna Park was this festival of lights where with thousands of light bulbs. And Steeplechase was the crystal palace, if you will, of amusement parks, this glass atrium building filled with all sorts of fanciful amusements inside. So these were all places that were truly magical, they were inventive, and they were experimental. And it's that spirit, it's that energy that we're really looking to capture in a 21st century way going forward with the new amusement park. Coney Island today is not the Coney Island that all of us remember. It's certainly not the Coney Island that it was in its heyday. Coney Island as an amusement destination has shrunk severely. At one point at its heyday, it was 60 acres large. Now it's down to less than five acres with one acre left of true active amusement park. I hate to use harsh words, but it's the pits. It's a dump. You can go one block, and have something in the next block, there's a lot. Coney Island as a neighborhood has also hit some hard times. It has not seen the economic redevelopment and renaissance that the rest of Brooklyn has. It has twice the unemployment rate of the city. One in six people live in public housing, and many are without jobs or basic needs and services, such as, for example, a decent supermarket, a place to buy a book, a pair of shoes. The largest unemployment rate is here in Coney Island. We need jobs. We need better infrastructure here in Coney Island. The rezoning or redevelopment plan for Coney Island is meant to really foster three basic visions. The first one is to make sure that Coney Island as a destination can be year-round, 24-7 in nature, and so that there's not the seasonality that there is now. The second part of the Coney Island redevelopment plan is to really grow and protect the amusements, make sure that what's left of the amusements, those treasured icons, are not lost forever. And then the third piece of the Coney Island redevelopment plan is to make sure that the neighborhood where there's some 50,000 residents really partake in this economic redevelopment plan with jobs and retail and new housing. The Coney Island Redevelopment Plan is truly a plan of its people. This was developed within the community with the Coney Island Development Corporation and the City of New York. We helped create this plan. And when I say we, I mean the community. It's like I took a piece of myself and I, I, I put it in this and then my neighbor John took a piece of his self and he put it in. And my neighbor Pat took a piece of herself and she put it in. That's why this plan is so important. Coney Island East in the redevelopment plan is envisioned as a 27 acre urban amusement park. It's meant to be indoor and outdoors, dense, urban, fun, exciting. We're proposing new rides to complement the older iconic rides. It's meant to have new usage such as restaurants, clubs, bowling alleys, movie theaters, tattoo parlors, freak shows, everything that's a part of Coney Island's history. We're also mapping part of that parkland to make sure that it's protected in perpetuity and that any future rezoning cannot change the fact that Coney Island will always remain at its heart amusements. The other parts of the city's redevelopment plan for Coney Island are Coney North and Coney West. We're proposing about four to 5,000 new units of housing, a thousand of which will be affordable housing, and over 500,000 square feet of much needed retail. The difference in Coney West is that we want to make sure that the entertainment continues along the boardwalk and that the Child's Building, the other landmark in Coney Island, is activated. And in order to do that, the zoning will make sure that along the boardwalk, things such as restaurants, beach rentals, cafes, small boutique hotels are all a part of the new building plan along Coney West so we can make sure that the stroll from the aquarium to the child's building is an enjoyable one and an engaging one. The city's rezoning plan for Coney Island is an incredible economic engine. It will actually generate over 6,000 permanent jobs and 25,000 construction jobs in its full build out. The 6,000 permanent jobs will be in everything from retail services to amusements to hotel developments. Hotels are a signature piece of Coney East to attract year round tourism to the area. Coney Island needs redevelopment badly and we need it, we need that now. We need um, housing development, 
affordable. We need the amusements. We need hotels. We need centers. We need, we need, bottom line is we need the mayor's plan. If we don't take action now to grow and protect what's there, it will be lost forever. And we will never be able to have a conversation about generations enjoying what generations past have enjoyed. We're not going to fail. This is absolutely going to be a successful project because everyone who's involved, whether you're a community member, an elected official, a city planner, you all have a vested interest in seeing this succeed and you all have an emotional tie to it. So we really are working with passion at mind, passion for Coney Island.